Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my video regarding the Truthia Shio firmware update to basically give you volume control. It was very easy to do, as obviously I've actually done it, you'll see in the next clip how I did it. Very straightforward, it's something that should have been on the device in the first place, but I'll talk about that at the end. And yeah, very straightforward, so yeah, in the next clip I'll tell you where to get the files from, how I did it, and all that good stuff. And yeah, so I'll... I'll see you in the past, which is your future. See you in the next clip. So basically stage one, you need the firmware. I've included it here, because it's just easier to see. It's the truthier.com website. So obviously you go to the download tab uh, at the top. Now there's two options. You don't need the first one anymore, because the second one includes the driver. So ignore the first one at the time being. Because it's, it's actually packed in the second one. There's also obviously on Shenzhen's audio website. It's the same thing. I will link in the description. But for this video, it's included uh, truth ears. It's just easier to find. So anyway, close that. This is instructions. It's important. I'll obviously get to that in a bit. Here is what's in the file. Well, sorry, the zip file that you extract. Instructions is obviously here. The tools. Volume mode is just the information I can show you now. As you can see, it's just the steps. Uh, volume level. It's, as you can see, it's just all that. It's all in the zip file. But we kind of straightforward. And obviously, the 60 volume steps it still has high and low gain. And yeah, this is the important part. So you run truth here, upgrade tools. And yes, for this to work. I, you do have to install a driver, otherwise you can't do this. I've just done a, a clip of this before, but I did delete it because it didn't work. You have to use a tool, or it just won't let you actually write the firmware. So, yeah, so let's do it. So it says, uh, edit PID to FO76. So type that in it, FO76. I've, I've just done this off camera, well, footage, then click detect device. Green. Now, if you didn't do the firmware, uh, sorry, the drive update, this stays white. And as you can see here, it tells you what you need to do. Very straightforward. So you click, click Detect Device again. It works. As you can see, it's green. Now you click File button and click the Auto button. Let's, let's do it. So File. And it finds one. Click that. Open. Uh, and yeah, auto. Let's try it. You can see here. Make sure you don't move or anything in case you brick it, because obviously this could actually technically brick it. Um, and I think that's it. So unless something else has happened, I will reboot my computer. So before I even do that, you have to do the other file. As you can see where I'm looking, there's a hex file and the bin file. Obviously, I've just done the hex file. So you have to do the second part, which is the bin file. One controls, as uh, you can see, internal volume mode and sync system mode. So let's do the bin file. So let's go file. So binary file. Click that. Uh, and yeah, let's go. Then you click auto, which should be the one to actually click start, basically to start doing. Let's click it. And I think that's it. So, yeah, see, it's funny they have to do two parts, but yeah, let's do it. So you just saw me how I did it, and yeah, it works perfectly fine. Obviously, the end of the clip, you heard it beep, like the beep beep, as in Windows, did it, it did its stuff, and it works fine. So obviously, if you do the two parts, uh, it's fine. I don't know about going backwards if you want to go back to what it was like before, but obviously, I've, I, it's, it might be just a one-way trip. I don't know yet, but it seems to work fine. So yeah, again, obviously, you it's the same thing by default, it's low gain. You press both for high gain, it's red by normal, and then kind of a yellow on high gain. 
and yeah, it works fine. So what have you gained from this? So you gain independent volume. So after the clip, I set it as 100% in Windows 10. Um, and then you can obviously you can control the volume from this. Some people have had issues about like lag, like volume lag. Um, I, I haven't had that. Or sometimes you get like a loud pop or something. Again, it's an issue I personally haven't had. I wanted it for its independent volume and it works. So that's pretty much it really. So obviously make sure when you do it, please don't move or move this because any slight connection, you probably might brick it. Uh, yeah, that's it really. So great device. They really should have released it with this firmware in the first place because no one should really have to do, you know, stuff like this. And yeah, so it works fine. Obviously type C, like you've obviously you've seen in my review. 4.4, 3.5 outputs, type C. And it works well. Obviously, for my PC, I had to use a USB C to USB A uh, adapter, but that it works fine. So I don't know if you can do this update in anything apart from Windows 10, I don't know, but it works fine and it's super easy. So I recommend you to try and do it. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. So yeah, I hope this guide has been useful for you and I'll see you folks in the next video.